Come in, Lieutenant. This is General Garza. Do you copy? I read you loud and clear, General. I understand you've just landed on Taris. I've already contacted our local regimental commander, Colonel Gaff, to secure his support. Colonel Gaff doesn't know the specifics of your mission, only that he should assist you in every way possible. I'd like to keep it that way. I'll keep quiet on the details, General. That's for the best, Lieutenant. Taris is a dangerous and untamed wasteland. A Sith attack several centuries ago leveled every standing structure and virtually eradicated the local population. Where cities once rivaled Coruscant, only swamps and ruins remain. Reclaiming and rebuilding the planet has become an important symbolic goal for the Senate. If there's any way I can aid in the reconstruction, I'll do it. Of course. Just don't lose sight of your primary objective. That's all I have for you, Lieutenant. Report in when your operation is complete. I'll contact you as soon as the job's done, General. I reviewed your service record before that ZR-57 op. Been meaning to discuss it with you. You made quite an impression at the Academy. Accelerated training programs, instructor recommendations. Graduated top of your class. Heck of a transcript. But a classroom's no substitute for field experience. You saw how I handled things on Ord Mantell. I know what I'm doing. Taking on that SEP army single-handedly showed guts, not leadership. When I signed on with the Dead Eyes, my CO was Lieutenant Vorn. Certified war hero, as decorated as they come. When he gave an order, we trusted it, followed it to the letter. A squad needs that kind of commitment to operate effectively. You're saying you don't trust me? I'm saying trust requires more than a slick new promotion. Havoc Squad is the Republic's most elite outfit. We tackle the missions no one else can handle. Traitor or no, Tavis is a tough act to follow. You think you're up to it? I wouldn't be leading Havoc Squad if I didn't. Hmm. Good answer. You've got confidence and plenty of raw talent. Maybe you'll pull this off. Welcome to Terrace. I'm Governor Suresh. On behalf of the Galactic Republic, I want to thank you for joining us in this historic project. For your safety, please do not travel beyond the military-secured safe zone outside the settlement. This world and our work here will shine as a beacon of hope to all of the Republic. But first, we have many obstacles to overcome. Together, we stand taller than any obstacle. Let's get to work. Together. Well, well. General Garza graces us with her finest. At ease. I'm Colonel Gaff. These are my senior officers. Your CO sent orders to do whatever is necessary to support your mission. Of course, she didn't see fit to tell me what that mission is. You care to enlighten me? I can't discuss the details. Typical. Forget the reconstruction of Taris. I gotta shift everything around and help with some top-secret mission nonsense. Whatever Garza has you looking for, you won't find it on Taris. Nothing unusual has happened since I took command. Patrol teams 3, 5, and 8. All lost, or without explanation. Sergeant Dorn, I don't recall giving you permission to speak. I wasn't speaking to you. I was speaking to the Lieutenant, per General Garza's instructions. Are you ordering me to violate Code 73B and ignore the General's directive, Colonel? Always got a regulation to quote, don't you, Sergeant Dorn? If the sergeant has information, I'll take it. The matter was settled days ago. Taris is dangerous. Casualties are common on patrol teams. It's unfortunate, but not unusual. No matter what Sergeant Dorn says. Now, if you'll excuse me, I got a planet to run. Carry on with your secret mission. Just don't muck up anything important. Apologies for the colonel, Lieutenant. Not all men are meant to lead. Colonel Gaff is disobeying a direct order. I can assure you it's not the first time he's done so. I'm Ilara Dawn, sir. Sergeant, first class, commander of Search and Rescue Squad 204. We have three full squads, all MIA on patrols. The situation is critical. 
You have any idea what happened to these men? I'm afraid not, Lieutenant. Casualties are common on swamp patrols. Rakgul attacks account for the majority, approximately 87%. However, SAR sweeps discovered no evidence of Rakgul activity in these instances. Someone else attacked those teams. If you're looking for unusual activity, then this is it, sir. What exactly is a rat ghoul anyway? Rat ghouls are disease-carrying mutants. Rat ghoul bites and scratches are infectious. Those infected become rat ghouls themselves in 6 to 48 hours. I included the last known coordinates for the MIA patrols in my official incident report, Lieutenant. I'll load it into your datapad for your review. Taurus falls under unexplored, unsecured territory protocols. All armor cams transmit to SAR command. I'll contact you with developments. Sounds like a plan, Sergeant. Good luck, Lieutenant. That was... interesting. I've had drill instructors more relaxed than that woman. Not to mention that accent. What do you mean? What's unusual about her accent? The only people I've heard talk like that were Imperials. The Republic must have freed her homeworld in the war. Growing up Imp would explain a lot about her personality. Uptight. Doesn't even begin to describe that woman. Guess it's off to work then. I'll watch our backs. We've been waiting weeks, and those things are still swarming our property while you sorry excuses for defenders of the Republic sun yourself on the base. This is a military operation, sir. This planet hasn't been cleared for civilian occupancy. My brother didn't mean to be insulting, but for three centuries our family has dreamt of reclaiming our place on Terrace, and now to be stopped by those things. It never looks good to see a Republic soldier refusing aid to one of his own. Sir, just following orders, sir. Terrace is our home. We're not going to wait until the army takes its pick of the planet and then throws us the scraps. The Republic validated our records, but some outlaws set up a camp there. They've got security droids all around the perimeter. You need something dangerous cleared out first? It's not Rakuuls or anything. There's someone living there. Sentience. They've got security droids all around the perimeter. It's a war zone. We almost got killed entering our own property. The Republic will respond to all such claims of hostile, non-indigenous lifeforms based on strategic value. Where does their property stand in the expansion plans? Personal land, sir. It'll be explored once all the public space is secured. That's what they keep saying. That we can only claim it if we fight those awful droids ourselves. But how? Unless... could you help us? Your claim seems just. Great. They're all yours, then. You find anything important, you can fill out a form at HQ. All we need is to get those blasted droids cleared out and find out who's controlling them. I can handle the rest. Converters, Lieutenant. Old ones. Any theories on how they got to that location? I was hoping you could tell me. 
Power converters come from ignition systems, engine parts. It takes work to remove them. Someone dropped these converters. Either the patrol or their attackers. We need more information to determine which. I'll search the next coordinates immediately. I'll remain in contact, Lieutenant. Dawn out. converters. According to the logs, this patrol followed an entirely different route. Either both patrols recovered the same engine parts from separate locations, or the converters were dropped in both areas by one group. The attackers. I think we're on the right track, Sergeant. A specialist MO7 science officer could examine the converters to determine their source. We have such an officer on staff. I will notify him while you search the last coordinates. Sounds like a plan, Sergeant. Very well, Lieutenant. I'll proceed to Science Division at once. Good luck, Lieutenant.
Hold. We have no more with which to defend ourselves. You have left us helpless before the Rakuls and everything that haunts this planet. My people are refugees, survivors of the battle on Coruscant. Would you turn us out of yet another home? The owners have been waiting for centuries to return here. So many men are here to reclaim this planet who know nothing of its past. Ancient Taurus was a blight on the Republic. The black mark on its reputation for freedom. As far as I know, it was some outer rim nothing, until the Empire blew it up. Humans on Taurus did as they do on all planets. They seized the surface, claimed Taurus's wealth, and forced every other species underground. Every meter of land owned by a human was probably seized from another species, just as this was seized from my ancestors. I have their documents. So old they were kept in printed form. Read them yourself if you doubt me. The Republic must have had reasons for supporting such measures. What reason can deprive millions of their homes and drive them underground? If you have any sympathy for our cause, perhaps there is something you can do? We are alone and at the Republic's mercy. I would wish not to see you turned away from your home. I thank you for softening your heart to my story. I will tell my people to begin repairs on our droids. Lieutenant, status report. Are you injured? I might be hurt, Sergeant. You'd better come rescue and search me. Flotation and other non-mission critical communications over priority holo channels are strictly forbidden by procedural guidelines, sir. I'm pretty sure that was a no, Lieutenant. Your attackers were scavengers. Threat assessment reports classify them as a non-combatant group. That classification is clearly inaccurate. I'll notify command. I need to know where these scavengers come from, their numbers and armaments. Unknown, sir. Local intelligence felt they weren't worthy of investigation. Armed hostility against Republic personnel clearly justifies an immediate armed response, Lieutenant. It's your call. We need to move against these scavengers immediately. Orbital Scan has just managed to pinpoint the location of the scavengers' compound. I'll scramble up my team and prep them immediately. We'll effect entry to the compound once you've created an opening. I'll see you on the other side, Sergeant. Good luck, Lieutenant. Sergeant Dawn, out.
As you can see by the data, there is no disease in known space that propagates as quickly as the Teresian Rakul Plague. Even one individual Rakul can start a pandemic, as we have observed in 81 colonies to date. Until a vaccine can be widely distributed, it is highly doubtful that any civilian colonization effort will yield lasting results. Thank you. I didn't know Rakuls had gotten so many colonies. Rakuls have been the story on Taurus for three centuries. Holonet archives say a Dr. Forn developed a Rakul serum vaccine just hours before the bombardment. I've been trying to acquire this serum, but short of putting a blaster to someone's head, that's not going to happen. What makes you say that? There's a pirate camp not far from here. They went after the ruins of Sepinek Memorial Hospital. Sepinek was well preserved. If there's Rakul serum to be found, it'd be there. I asked Commander Viki to step in, but since it wasn't a Republic hospital, the pirates have legal salvage rights. Commander Viki has her hands full. I'll handle the pirates. I can't say what will be required to get this done, but this plague has infected half a planet's worth of people. So if that serum shows up on my lab table, it'd be unethical to throw it away for any reason. I hope my position is clear. Thank you for coming so fast. I told you the commander would send someone, Gartha. The commander didn't send him. A lieutenant on duty wouldn't be out here without a full squad. On duty or not, please, sir, do you have any experience with rat ghouls? Is this a research station or something? We're a Republic archaeological salvage team cataloging those who died in the Teresian bombardment. Mostly, they call us the corpse counters. It's pointless work. People are dying out here, so the Republic can have a list they'll never look at. These people deserve someone to acknowledge their deaths. Only, most of our team were lost this morning when Rakul's cut us off. I was hoping that you might go see if anyone is still alive. I'll try, but no promises. Thank you. It means a lot knowing we're not abandoning them. We were in the Zerka Works pipeline. If you go soon, there may still be someone there. No, there's no hope for our friends now. But maybe you can make those monsters pay for what they did. Amazing, isn't it? To stand at the site of such history? The fall of Terrace has always cast a shadow over the Republic. So many millions of our people are descended from the refugees who fled its destruction, and we've carried its effects for far too long. Are you talking about something specific? I'm sorry, I'm Dr. Sinoda. I have made it my life's work to cure Kolu Syndrome, a rare cancer that affects only the descendants of Teresian refugees. But I have reached the limits of what I can do without the original settler's medical records. I came here to access the systems in Terrace's old general hospital, but I, uh, underestimated the dangers. I could defend you from the creatures here. No, I, I, I can't go out there. I'd just be a weight around your neck. But if you want to help... Please go to the old hospital. I have the plans here. There are emergency generators that may still work. If you bring them up, we can download the old records. Bring them back, and you could save millions of people from a life of pain and early death.
This is for you, Gartha. I saw you ahead of me there, before the pack cut us off. Just want to tell you, you're wrong. The dead do care what happens to them after they die. I'm one of them now. I hear those monsters sniffing for me in the dark. And I know I'll be with the dead before anyone comes for us. And I do care. But I'd rather lie here a thousand years undiscovered than have some greedy son of a hut like you dig me up just to see what I've got that's worth stealing. I hope someone else finds this and makes you pay for your crimes. Like I'm about to pay for mine. Neutralized.
Gotcha. You picked the wrong medbay to rob, Vacbrain. There's gonna be 200 Death's Claw pirates coming through that door. I don't want to hurt anyone, but I will. Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah, you see these guys lying here? They've got the Rack Ghoul Plague. You touch me, and they'll be on you like huts on a buffet. Except, you know, faster. And don't think they're incapacitated. Oh no, they just look that way. I've got a serum you wouldn't believe. I know a Republic that could make use of that. Wait, 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 wait. We don't have all that much. If you cut off my supply, these guys are gonna turn. You know what that means? I'm gonna have to shoot them all in the head before they try to eat my liver. 
You're a doctor, right? Synthesize some more. With what? My state-of-the-art facilities? I can only use what I find, and we don't find much. The only place I can think of that might have some left is the ruins of Dynamet General. The place was basically Ghoul Town. You want serum, you get it there, and leave us alone. You've delayed long enough. Fine, take it. But these people will die cursing you. These are all the medical records I could find. Thank you. I am sure you have braved many higher profile dangers, but you will never do anything more important. You have saved countless lives. One of them may well be mine. My ancestors fled Terrace 300 years ago, and my family still carries their curse. I thank you. You're back, and I don't see anyone with you. Did you... are they...? Dead? What did you think? The Ghouls would buy them flowers and send them home? Everybody dies eventually. If you kill those freaks, I'll call it even. At least we can clear out the corpses without becoming one. Excuse me, I, I should call the base, tell their families what happened. I'm putting in for a transfer. No job is worth this. This has taken enough of my time. Well, thanks for going in. You showed more concern than the Republic ever has. Wait, you're not leaving, are you? I wanted to... That is, you did us such a favor. Could I maybe ask another? Did you notice anything about the number of rackles in that pipe? I think it's more than most places, right? Oh, not that nonsense again. I'm not sure I understand. Okay, this'll sound crazy, but... There's more Rackles at our grave sites than any of the Republic target zones. Ah, they're just drawn to the noise and the smell of flesh. We're not any noisier or fleshier than a platoon of soldiers. I think they're protecting their ancestors. Rackles are beasts. Everyone knows they're not sentient. I'm not saying they discuss it over tea, but I think something is driving them to defend these grave sites. They were human once, you know. The first ones, anyway. It's a disease that turned them into monsters, and we still don't understand how it works. This could be a first step toward taking the planet back from them. How will you accomplish that? The salvage team can't get to the main bombardment sites. There are so many rackles there, you can see them by satellite, like a living carpet. If you could get samples from both the rackles and the skeletons at one of the main sites, we could see if they're related. Do you have details? What exactly are we talking about? There probably isn't a way to get a Rackle to volunteer a genetic sample, so, um, I guess you'll be killing them. Then we'll compare their blood samples with genetic material from corpses in the same area. By tomorrow, you should be able to answer this question once and for all. Seriously, Sira, you think you can waste his valuable time on your crackpot theories? He's smart. He wouldn't do this if he didn't think there was a point. Please don't let Gartha discourage you. This is important. And I don't think there's anyone else on this planet willing to brave those Rackles to find out. I'll be waiting to hear what you find. Welcome back. Let's get those serum samples analyzed and see what we've got. 
Well, thank the Force for good Teresian storage technology. I wasn't sure anything would still be viable after three centuries. While we wait, is there a cost to these samples I should be aware of? A deal with a pirate crew, perhaps? You don't want to know. Trust me. I see. Then if it didn't happen in a plastic beaker, don't tell me about it. Ah, oh, here we are. Fortunately, the plague is so virulent, it cultures very rapidly. Hmm, bad news. The serum you recovered looks like it was effective 300 years ago, but the Raku plague has mutated since then. This serum will only provide effective immunity for extraordinarily healthy individuals. Sorry you're so disappointed. Oh, I'm not giving up. Now I just need what we call a lucky survivor, whose system has made antibodies to the modern plague. We haven't had a survivor yet, for obvious reasons, but this serum might provide the link we need. If I infected an extraordinary individual protected by the serum, I could collect the antibodies and make an effective vaccine. What happened to most virulent disease in known space? I need someone with proven recuperative powers. Someone who gets injured almost on a daily basis. Ideally, they would have survived stabbings, shootings, poison, infections, maybe all of the above. I understand your profession exposes you to physical punishment. Do you think you could survive infection? All right, but if I end up as a rat ghoul, I want a statue, a non rat ghoul statue. Let's, uh, hope it doesn't come to that. We have a medical droid, CB-084, set up to observe Rakuls in the field. He'll be able to collect the antibodies and slow any potential complications. After I give you the serum, go out there and test it. Let the Rakuls attack you and see what happens. You don't have this plague in a needle or something? If it needs to work in the field, it needs to work in the field. Now, here's your serum injection. I hope the Force is with you, because the science is stretched to the limit. Target neutralized.
The Republic sent a unit to retrieve our team's bodies. They said to thank you for your help. Aren't you going to ask if he wasted his time on your pet project? Um, did you get to the bombardment site? I don't see a scratch on you. Can you check right now? I want to see if anything comes of this. Just let me see the samples. I've got a portable scanner that can give us preliminary results right... now. That's amazing. There's over a 50% correlation. Genetic drift usually means a much less marked connection, even in a normal population, after so many years. They really are defending their ancestors, then? It means we just made one of the most important discoveries in Teresian history. What? Where's the cynical disbelief? You can't dispute the numbers, Sira. You're right. This is amazing. If rat ghouls have enough rationality to remember people and places that matter to them, we can't keep treating them like mindless animals. I don't like where this is going. We need to cancel our operations in these grave sites. We can't keep antagonizing them. But if we know they come to the defense of certain territories, we can bait them, draw them out, so the Republic can send in troops to exterminate them. No. If they're sentient, we can't just keep murdering them. I'll contact the Reconstruction Authority. Do you have an opinion on this? Raccoons are a contagious, predatory species. Our only option is to wipe them out. Isn't that the thinking that got Elisu and the others killed? You can't reason with a monster, Gartha. You of all people should know that. I'll give the Republic your recommendation. Thank you again for all your help. I see your infection is progressing. Hold still while I take samples for analysis. While I transmit the data to Dr. Cell, there are some questions I should ask. Do you have any of the following symptoms? Dizziness, fever, shortness of breath, and inexhaustible hunger for sentient flesh? I could go for a Nerf burger. That doesn't count, right? I will note it on your chart. Ah, here's Dr. Cell. Good news. Your antibody count is off the charts. I'll start work on a vaccine immediately. You are remarkably brave. Our progress has just jumped forward by years. While you recuperate, I'm going to transmit the usual secrecy agreements. Just use your thumbprint to sign on the sensor. I'm not sure I understand. This is standard procedure when the Republic develops biotech with significant earnings potential. We develop the vaccine for Republic soldiers first, and when it's proven, sell it to colonists. Until then, it's under wraps. We don't want the Exchange or the Sith funding some horrible operation with an underground version. I guess that makes sense. Thanks for soldiering up. I'll see you get a donor fee, but I can't promise a cut of the profits. The amount of money we're talking about is staggering. I could make a career out of a vaccine like this. And you put yourself on the line to make it happen. I won't forget. What do you think, Khan? The foundation of the Terrace Chemworks factory cannot be repaired. I expect total collapse within two weeks. Once the building falls, the stored chemicals will flood this area. They are highly toxic to humans. I am sorry. I'll make sure there are speeders on hand. 
But we can't just pack up and go. Do as you can. As always, I will pursue an alternative. Forgive me, officer. I am aware of your presence and duly respectful. However, I advise you not to stay long. I appreciate the advice, but I could use a reason. Many of these ruins are unstable. A nearby structure used for chemical storage is on the verge of crumbling. As I was explaining to my colleague, there is only one way to remove the chemicals before they spill. A burn-off. A well-armed demolitions team could reach the structure and incinerate the chemical stockpiles. I can provide the incendiaries. Unfortunately, no team is available. You want to plant explosives around a building that's about to collapse. Between the structural instability, the toxicity levels and the incendiary chemicals, the mission does carry substantial risk. It is nonetheless urgent. You are not a demolitions team, I fully recognize this. But if you could arrange the burn-off, I would humbly welcome your aid. Excuse me, Lieutenant. The Republic told me you might be able to help with a difficult situation. They say you are a most reliable operative on Terrace. Have you heard anything about Titroxinate being sold on the black market? What's the story? I'm sure you know the history. Titroxinate was the pre-patent name for the weaponized agent we think was responsible for the Rakgul Plague. The Empire could fashion it into a terrible weapon, turning our soldiers into monsters and setting them against us. Where's the arms dealer who's selling this stuff? I'm more worried about his source. Trace the original titroxinate samples to an old chemworks factory. It's overrun with Nexu. We can't get near it. If you can retrieve any canisters that remain, the Republic will see you're well rewarded for your effort. Lieutenant, it's good to see a soldier of your reputation slumming with us out here in the wilds of Terrace. There are important objectives here for our war with the Empire. Well, whatever brings you here, I suggest you don't stay long. We barely got stores enough for our station soldiers, much less visitors. At this rate, I've got men scalping ration cubes for a half week's salary. If the outpost's in trouble, I'd be happy to help. I just might take you up on that. Our bases here are far from self-sufficient. We're not farmers, and there's no existing infrastructure here to work with. We're at the mercy of our supply ships. And this month just went nose down in some of the worst territory on Taras. Where's the ship? I don't care if it's at the bottom of a swamp. The Republic thanks you for your service. Our men tried to reach the ship once, but they turned back after taking serious casualties. They said it's more than just rat ghouls, but couldn't make an ID. If you still want to go, you'll need to talk to our quartermaster at the supply shed across the base. She's got the exact coordinates of the crash. And you're just going to make this all better, huh? Usually people are happy if I come to make things better. I'm Karen Wet, Quartermaster. Commander Gardet just called to say you're retrieving our supplies. For which, by the way, I and the rest of the troops here humbly thank you. But I don't want Commander Fat Pants to think it means he gets away with this. Embezzle the Republic's money to bring in dress blues from Alderaan. But don't worry, one of our top Special Forces guys will bail you out. That's a serious accusation. I said over and over that the ship needed repairs. The left stasis generator was loose, and the hyperdrive motivator was seeping fluid. But Gardet had already spent our allotted maintenance budget on himself. If this is true, he's a blot on the Republic, and I'll bring him down. These are good soldiers here. They deserve a better man to lead them. If you can take this hollow camera out to the crash site, you could get the evidence I need to get him court-martialed. You've won me over. Thank you. If you take holopics of the engine, I can show that the documented lack of repairs is what caused the crash. The most important thing is the supplies, though. The crash site isn't far. 
When you get everything, bring it back here so I can distribute it. Mechanized travel is for official business only. Be safe out there. Neutralized. I'm here.
you're from the Republic. Watch out. There's a huge alien guarding us and... Ah, there it is! Run for it! Are you? You took that thing down easy. Commanding officer, Havoc Squad. You're kidding. They actually sent Havoc Squad after us? I'm Ensign Tain, sir. I think it's a good thing you found us. The scavengers were gonna ship us off to some guy named Needles as soon as we healed up. Needles? As in Ryler Dorn, the Havoc Squad medic? I really don't know. Needles is all they ever called the guy. Figured it must be a code name, right? Needles is a code name. Oh, I guess you've heard of him, then. Well, the scavengers also said... Here they are. Cav, Gorin, cover the exit. Vise, Marco, Tabba, see to these men's wounds. Oh, great. Sergeant Dorn's here to make sure we get stomped according to regulation. Report, Ensign. Did you learn anything about the enemy? Uh, yes, sir. Sergeant, sir. As I was just telling the lieutenant here, we were captured for some guy named Needles. And get this. There are Imperials here, on Terrace. They're working with this Needles guy in a hidden base out in the swamps. Sounds like you overheard quite a bit. Yes, sir, Lieutenant. The scavengers were pretty sloppy about talking in front of us. So, are you excited, Dorn? You finally have the chance to correct your old buddy's paperwork again. This is no time for jokes, Ensign. Speak plainly. Uh, yes, sir, Lieutenant. Sorry, sir. Many of the local troops feel that my adherence to regulations is a result of my upbringing, Lieutenant. I was born Imperial. However, after two years' service in the Imperial military, I defected. Given my extensive knowledge and training, I was awarded this position under Service Code 37R. You made the right decision. We can discuss non-mission critical issues later. My team and I will get these men back to base, Lieutenant. You proceed with your mission against Needles and his Imperial installation. I have the lead I was after. Time to act on it. I'm glad I could help point you in the right direction, sir. Good luck.
like. Mechanized travel is for official business only. Be safe out there.
Gotcha. shot. Looking for needles, are you? I'm afraid he's long gone, my friend. But see those hands nice and slow. Don't worry. I won't give you any trouble. I wouldn't stand a chance fighting you, so I won't. Instead, let me make a suggestion. I'll tell you everything you need to know about needles. But in exchange, you have to let me go. You're in no position to bargain. No, I'm in no position to fight. I'm in an excellent position to bargain. I have information you need. It's as straightforward as that. It's simple. Let me live, and I will tell you everything. Kill me, and you'll learn nothing. Come in, Lieutenant. This is Sergeant Dawn. Do not trust this man. I served with him in the Empire. His name is Thorus. What? Who, who's that? Who, who are you talking to? D Dawn, is that you? Thoris is a mass murderer, Lieutenant, a war criminal. I'm listening, Sergeant. Go on. During my time in Imperial service, Thoris ordered the executions of hundreds of civilian non-combatants and full-scale bombings of unarmed populations. Furthermore, these actions were committed in circumvention of direct orders from Imperial Command. I am a soldier. I, I do what I must to achieve my objectives, just like you, Lieutenant. I don't kill civilians, you imp scum. Please, listen. I'll tell you everything. Everything I know. Needles is doing experiments on the Rat Ghouls. He wants to understand the disease, to turn it into a weapon. He left here a few hours ago. He said he was visiting some friends in the ruptured sewer system to get more samples. I'm going to need a lot more detail here. Rat Ghouls! He needs more to continue his research. He won't say who his friends are, but they supplied the Rat Ghouls. That's everything. That's all I know. I've given you what you wanted. Now what about me? Welcome to your execution, pal. No! This isn't fair. If you're still recording, Sergeant, now would be a good time to stop. There seems to be some kind of signal interference, Lieutenant. 
Under code 35B, I'm cutting the connection to prevent signal interception. I'll meet you back in the SAR office, Lieutenant. Dawn out. No! chemical factory. Let's watch our step, huh?
up another kill. Gotcha.
up another kill. I can smell chemicals on you, but I also smell fire and smoke. Did you complete the burn-off? All the toxins and pollutants have been incinerated? There's no doubt about it. Nothing could please me more. Thank you. The structure will still collapse, but it shall leave no poison in its wake. Perhaps we can rebuild the area after all. These are all the canisters I was able to recover. Thank you. The Republic thanks you. Imagine how horrific it would be if the Ragul nightmare had spread to the rest of the galaxy. Please, take this for your service. We don't have antibiotics. They come on the same ship as everything else. You're supposed to keep better tabs on that sort of thing. These men have the Cillian flu. They could die if... Lieutenant, do I read from your face that you brought welcome news? I've got what you asked for. Just in the nick of time, too. The men came close to mutiny when I cut rations again. Uh, they knew this wasn't going to be a luxury cruise. What do you expect? You ask your men to starve while you eat Bantha steaks from off-world. These pictures prove you knew the ship was damaged, and you sent it anyway. They're going to Republic Command along with my documentation of every personal purchase you've made. These men left their families and risked their lives to come here. If they die, it should be for someone better than you. I... I didn't know the ship was so bad. I thought if it was serious, they'd catch it on Ord Mantel. The men on Terrace deserve a better leader. This is ridiculous. I did nothing wrong. Republic Command will never listen to you. I... I need to call them. Thank you for all your help, but there may be something else, too. Normally, our fourth outpost comes here to pick up its supplies, but their convoy never arrived this month. I'm afraid something happened. They need to be found. It's dangerous territory out there. Was the convoy armed? The route between the outposts runs along Lake Brell. Not the best planning. There's Rackles there, and a Nexu spawning ground in worse. Usually, the convoy's managed by only traveling when the sun is highest. Plus, lots and lots of firepower. But if they're out there too long, well, you need to find them. Every moment we delay risks their lives. I'll leave right now. Whatever happened to the convoy, we need to make sure Morn Outpost gets their supplies. Sonic emitters along the route usually keep off the worst of the critters. But if they're on the fritz, that convoy would have walked into a feeding frenzy. Fix the emitters and see what you can find about the convoy. When you're done, report to Commander Yajek at Morn Outpost. And thank you.
taking the shot. We just stopped to rest. Geozel found a scratch, and we don't know if it's the Rakul infection, so we're waiting. And Ferdoan might be coming down with the Geonosian Swamp Flu, but we're on our way, I swear, and you're looking at me very strangely. Slow down and start over. Nothing. There's nothing to tell. I mean, I'm Private Gilro, Terrace Outpost 4. Kind of assumed you were looking for our convoy. We, we just stopped to rest. Sorry to trouble everyone. You're 48 hours late. Have you been here that whole time? Yeah. Like I said, Ferdon was hurt. I, I, I mean, Geozo and... Oh, forget it. I was never a good liar. We aren't going back. Is that what you wanted to hear? We've deserted. You have a duty to the Republic. What about its duty to me? Five years we've been out here. No break. Most of our friends have died. We're wounded. Tired. Broken. Fighting something that can't think. Can't be frightened. And if you get the slightest scratch, you become the enemy and your own squad puts you down like a dog. You must return to your post. You knew the risks when you signed up. I can't. I'd rather kill myself. I really would. Resistance will be met with force. All right. All right. I'd rather die than go back. But I won't make that choice for the rest of these guys. Just give us time to get our things together. We'll be back on base tonight, I, I promise. State your business. This is a Republic military outpost, sovereign territory of the Galactic Republic. We will defend ourselves with deadly force if necessary. First Lieutenant Havoc Squad, most recently aboard Mantell. Lieutenant, welcome to our outpost. There's no unauthorized travel this far into the wilds. Best policies usually blast first, chat later. Don't suppose you were sent by Commander Guarded with news about our supplies. It was a breeze. That's a relief. Our own convoy never reported back. Wouldn't be the first time we lost one to the Nexu. I was about to send another, but that means leaving the whole outpost understaffed and undefended. And the Rack Ghouls have been real active this month. Don't suppose you saw any sign of our boys. If they're still alive, they better have a good excuse for leaving us hanging. They're deserters. I found them hiding in the wreckage. Those lazy, selfish sons of huts. We have men starving here. I'll drag the useless lot of them back for trial. They will not go unpunished.
excellent job. We can smell the smoking metal corpses from here. I told him that's not really possible. So who are the crooks who set themselves up on our property? Did you drive them off? I took out the droids, but it won't be safe to live there. What are you talking about? Is it the Rakuls? Monsters? I told you we should have waited until the planet was open to settlers. The land is held by the alien who owns this deed. Her claim is better than yours. The alien resettlement was a valid executive order approved by the Republic. This is our land! There are alien survivors who kept their claim? I'd have thought they would never come back here. I... I studied the history. It, it wasn't right. It was justified. You can't make us leave because of that. It'll take more than two people to turn this place civilized. I agree, Relis. This isn't our ancestors' estate. This is a frontier. We'll need to grow food, sew clothes, defend ourselves. Wouldn't it be better to ally with these aliens? Sew clothes? Hmm. Maybe we should just hear them out. See what they're looking for. We won't turn them away. I know what it's like to want a home. Hey, good job. Both on the droids and getting to the bottom of that mess. Terrace politics. Huh. Who cares about this dump anyway? Brass called me when you left. Wanted to see if your work's as good as your rep. I'm a soldier. I'll get the job done. Captain Childress is gonna love that attitude. He's got something for you to do, and he said to pass the word. If you're interested, go look him up. His office is at HQ, other side of the base. Tell him you're the one who ran off the Brat Brigade. Good work with Thoris, Lieutenant. War criminals do not deserve the opportunity to strike deals. Lab results confirmed Thoris' account. Needles has almost completed a weaponized strain of rack ghoul disease. However, the data makes no mention of Needles' friends in the ruins of the transport system. Needles probably has another whole outpost loaded with imps out there. Unlikely. Thoris would have been aware of another Imperial team operating so close by. Available intelligence doesn't show any populations in the ruins of the transport system, but scans of the area have been cursory at best. Rack ghouls infest the area, making scouting by foot inordinately difficult. However, one traversable route has been located. I'll scout the area myself. Any geographical information you can bring back would be very helpful, Lieutenant. This ruined transport station is our only lead to Needle's location. I would encourage you to stock up on supplies and munitions before entering the area. Good luck. Hey there, Captain Childress. I want to thank you for taking the time to see me. You did nice work on that land claim mess. Like we flew this many troops to the armpit of the galaxy so some kids could play Pioneer. It'll take way more than it's worth to make this planet livable. Only thing interesting about Terrace is that it's the worst failure the Republic's ever had. The destruction of Terrace was a terrible loss. And we almost let it happen again on Coruscant. 300 years after Terrace, we still don't know squat about how to defend against a bombardment once ships are in low orbit. Good men die when we don't learn from our mistakes. That's why I'm here. I sent commandos to defend a research team at the crash site of the Endar Spire, the last Republic warship shot down over this planet. If we're lucky, that ship recorded the whole bombardment. But my team's lost contact, which means there are desk jockeys in the wild with the most valuable data on Terrace. What's this ship? Why is it so valuable? There were Jedi aboard back in the day. Now, we hope it's got data on the attackers. The crash site's a ways out, fast as you can make it. I don't know if we've got survivors. Research team's your number two priority. Data's the most important thing. Take anything the Endar Spire recorded to Commander Viki at the outpost.
Lieutenant Carlslew. I'm all that's left of Commander Childress's fifth detail. Please, tell me you're our reinforcement. Childress sent me. What cut you off? Give me a moment. All's clear, guys, and we've got some muscle from back on base. This is what's left of our research team. The others got ambushed while working. Scavengers must have guessed we were after something good. We need to hold them off long enough for the research team to recover and download that data. I'm on point. Researchers inside. Anyone who's not working, fan out behind me. Aye, sir. Aye. Okay, data's priority one. Everybody into the ship! Go! If you hadn't come when you did, those would be our smoking corpses there, no question. Unfortunately, we're not done. Not until this Rex data is in the hands of Commander Viqui. Give me what you have. I'll get it to the Commander. We've recovered all the high-priority info. If you run that to the outpost, I'll hold off what's left of the scavengers until our reinforcements arrive. <laughs>
If you have any questions about military operations on... Ah, oh, Lieutenant. I was expecting you. Excellent job at the Endar Spire. Everything from the primary computers is on here. The data from the Endar Spire will be invaluable to the Republic's war efforts. Lieutenant Carl Su tells me there's close surveillance footage of the Imperial warships. Havoc Squad belongs to the Republic, sir. And the Republic is honored to have you. Thank you for your service. Republic intelligence has been waiting for this data since the bombardment fell. Mechanized travel is for official business only. Be safe out there. Would you like a chance to be part of one of the great mysteries of the Republic's past? We have irrefutable proof that Revan once sheltered here, soon after returning to the Republic from the Sith. There are many tales of how Revan rescued Bastila Shan and changed galactic history, but there were smaller lives touched as well. What do you want? Spit it out. I am Hackenburg, historian from the Galactic Library on Coruscant. I am undertaking one of the most important historical research projects of our lifetime. Three hundred years ago, the outcasts of Tyrus lived deep below the city, where the Rock Ghoul Plague originated. Revan's journals record bringing them a cure for the plague and leading them to the secure colony called the Promised Land. Yet we don't know if they survived. This place is a toxic wasteland. There's no way anyone survived. Then what killed them? And what might that teach us about Tyrus? If you are braving the wilderness anyway, keep your eyes open. My assistant is coordinating excavations. Anything you find, bring to him. Perhaps these promised ones left some record, something to talk to us across the ages. Achoo! Oh, excuse me. <clears throat> something in the air. Spores, I think. Name's Wintag. I'm working on the Republic Teresian Archival Database. We call it Reptad. I'm a sci- Achoo! To explore the old city myself, but I'm uh, <clears throat> not handling the change of atmospheres very well. I don't suppose you'd be up for a little job exploring the ruins? We're well funded, so I can pay you for your trouble. Want to elaborate on that a bit? I'm talking about finding the archive set up by Terrace's own government to preserve their knowledge and culture in the event of disaster. I've been working on this for years, and I believe I finally pinpointed the location of their archive. Just tell me where, and I'll bring it back for you. I, uh... From the records? It sounds like it may be more than a simple data file. I've tried to approach the location before, but it is positively overrun with raccoons. I couldn't get close. If you could get past them, let my assistant know how to arrange retrieval. Her constitution is stronger than mine. <laughs>
Taking the shot. saved. An upworlder has restored to us the work of my grandfathers. At last, we have a place to escape this oppressive city and the laws that keep us beneath it. A place where we can breathe. This will be no secret to anyone listening, but Terrace has been attacked. The upper and lower city were destroyed. We have found the promised land, but have nowhere to return to. If only we had arrived sooner. The promised land is the original Terrace colony site. It was sheltered from the direct bombardment. But the quakes have destroyed every building and generator left. We must start again from scratch, but at least we have survived. The Rack Ghouls are still feeding on the dead, but when the meat is gone, they will begin to hunt. Target neutralized.
day for Rukel, who brought us out of the Undercity and into the Promised Land. We have sent scouts throughout Daris and can find no other survivors. They cast us out and bar their doors to us. But now we bury our dead in the ashes of their skyscrapers. As Rukel told us, it is not an easy life. Our children will grow up in a world of spears and bows, not blasters and starships. It is my burden to preserve our memories. Once we were outcasts. Once we were the promised ones. Now we are Taris. Breeding. Back in the Undercity, they reproduced only by infecting us. But now, there are more every day. We lose people to them, a few every year. But only as meat. The serum the Upworld have brought us has held true. We do not sicken. But now the serum is gone. We have had four infants born who could not be immunized. All boys. We will not be able to protect them forever. We need our full strength to defend the tribe. Maybe the immunity was inherited. Maybe we do not need to worry that a bite, a scratch, will turn our children against us. Maybe I do not need to fear for my son.
Congratulations to you, Ensign Sarvan, on your noble sacrifice. It's all right. No, wait, sir, no! Ah, exquisite. I'll be requiring more rackles for my work, Borzoth. We already gave you the rackles you asked for. When will you do as we asked? As soon as the weapon is completed. With it, we will decimate the Republic outpost. I smell an intruder. So you do. Sergeant, is that really you? I've moved up in the world since you last saw me. So I see. You've slaughtered enough Republic enemies to be rewarded then. Well done. I see you are in alone. You brought that pathetic worm all the way from Ord Mantell, just to die along with you. Talk all you want, Dorant. You're not getting out of here alive. Your timing is impeccable. Just as I find myself with plenty of pathogen but no more test subjects, you arrive. The transformation will hurt at first, but that's merely your organs rupturing and realigning. It's all over quickly, I assure you. The only thing ending quickly here is your life. Struggle if you must, then. But you'll wish you hadn't made it so hard on yourself. Vorzoth, please assist me in subduing our newest volunteer. <sighs> With pleasure. This battle isn't won yet. Take them. We're done. Looks like more samples of Needle's weaponized Rakul disease. What should we do with them? The General will want these samples. Just be careful with those things. I'd say it's about time we got out of here, Lieutenant. We'll follow your lead.
Gotcha. I am Kuki, 14th Keeper of Memories after Rukil. We now number 53 adults and 21 children. We lost four abled bodies and two child bearers to the Rakgul virus this year. Our records say there used to be a cure. We have lost so much. Tomorrow, we leave to search for higher ground. Plants are growing. Nature has reclaimed what once belonged to men. Nature is cruel. Two of every three of our babies die to sickness and hunger. If we are to live, we must rebuild our walls.
forgot. I am the memory. I have Rukil's descriptions. I know there was a city once. I know a city is many houses, many people. I am the only one. Now, there is just us. We have stopped having children. The old records say it is from toxic radiation. We once called this the promised land. It was a lie. It is our grave. This is a restricted area. There have been no security breaches for the past 111,325 days. Please show your credentials to enter. Have you been guarding this place for 300 years? That is correct. My programming appears to contain a contradiction. I am instructed only to open this door to a member of the Tauritian government. But when the archive was brought online, all members of the ruling government were contained within. I have received no information on their successors. What do you mean they were contained within? I am not authorized to reveal the workings of the Archive to anyone but a representative of the Galactic Republic. Is uh, that you? I'm a Lieutenant of Havoc Squad of the Republic Armed Forces. Excellent. Welcome to the Terrace Archive. This is the ruling government of Terrace, as last appointed, plus representatives of every major science and industry. Their final wish was to be thawed when Terrace was once more in the hands of the Republic. 
Here is data on all those contained within. I won't fail. My programming instructions end here. I was told you might be coming. Was there anything in the archive? Apparently, the ancient Teresian government thought the most important thing to preserve was themselves. Themselves? What do you... Do you mean literally? That's amazing. All this time we've been working from old recordings and the occasional droid, when the key to the whole planet's history is right here. Greetings. You are cleared for the following travel routes. Be safe out there. Your supervisor sent me. I found out what happened to your promised ones. There's no happy ending. I knew they couldn't have disappeared without a trace. Give me what you found. Let us learn the history of this doomed planet so we don't repeat it. Welcome back, Lieutenant. Congratulations on the success of your mission. 
Couldn't have pulled off this mission without you, Sergeant. I was only following orders, Lieutenant. General Garza attempted to contact you a few moments ago. I took the liberty of briefing her on your mission status. Thank you very much. The General requested that you contact her before departing Taurus. The holocom in the next room has been prepared for your use. Did she tell you why she wanted to talk to me? The General did not inform me of her intentions. Congratulations once again, Lieutenant. Ah, greetings, Lieutenant. I understand congratulations are in order. Needles is neutralized, General. You've done very well. Needles was a brilliant man. Taking him down was no small feat. I haven't informed Cardin yet, but I doubt he'll be upset. He and Needles never did see eye to eye. Needles was insane. I doubt anyone saw eye to eye with him. And yet, Tavis never had any problems with Needles. Hmm. Perhaps that should have been my first warning. And there's something else, Lieutenant. Tell me, what do you think of Sergeant Dorn? Sergeant Dorn helped me when no one else would, General. Yes, your reception on Terrace wasn't ideal. I'm glad you managed to find the one useful officer in the entire outpost. I looked over her service record. Impressive stuff, I must say. Were you aware that Dorn served with the Imperial military for almost two years, Lieutenant? She told me she grew up in the Empire. Yes, the accent is a dead giveaway. Pure German cause. Sergeant Dorn earned more commendations in her two years of Imperial service than most soldiers earn in ten. Since joining the Republic, she's earned two Medals of Valor, both for rescuing wounded soldiers under fire in enemy territory. This woman has led an exceptional career. Someone with Sergeant Dorn's skills would make a great addition to my squad. I agree. Sergeant Dorn is Havoc Squad material without question. It's settled then. Congratulations, Lieutenant. You're halfway to a full squad. I'll contact Colonel Gaff to notify him about the transfer. You should go and inform Sergeant Dorn yourself, Lieutenant. Contact me from your ship when you've finished. Garza out. Lieutenant, sir, is there something else I can do for you? Consider this your official invitation to Havoc Squad, Sergeant Dorn. Lieutenant, this... This is the greatest honor of my career. I... I'm speechless. Don't get too excited, Sergeant. It's not as impressive as it's made out to be. Sergeant Dorn, reporting for duty, Lieutenant. I'll prepare my Regulation 6 personnel transfer documents at once. You've more than earned this, Sergeant. I'll gather my personal effects and meet you on board your ship, Lieutenant. Thank you. Welcome to Terrace. I'm Governor Suresh. On behalf of the Galactic Republic, I want to thank you for joining us in this historic project. For your safety, please do not travel beyond the military-secured safe zone outside the settlement. This world and our work here will shine as a beacon of hope to all of the Republic. But first, we have many obstacles to overcome. Together, we stand taller than any obstacle. Let's get to work. Together. You think Havoc will start shaping into an actual squad soon? I'll 
I'll recruit more soldiers as soon as I find some havoc-worthy candidates. Makes sense. Once this unit starts growing, people's expectations of us, of you, are only gonna get bigger. That CO post could get real heavy, real quick. Someone needs to run Havoc Squad? Commanding a squad is no cakewalk. Nothing worse than having to choose between the success of the mission and the lives of your men. That said, a leader can't be soft on his troops. Coddling your men will only get them killed. You've got a point. I'll keep it in mind. I'm sure you'll do fine. You've gotten us this far. Sir, my equipment and personal effects have been stowed in full accordance with Transport Code Section 2. If I may say so again, sir, it is truly an honor to be selected for Havoc Squad. Clearly our first assignment should be a welcome party. I appreciate the sentiment, but I have a great deal of intelligence to catch up on. I intend to begin reviewing and memorizing all relevant dossiers and intelligence reports on our assignment immediately. If I discover any points of confusion or areas where I believe I can contribute, I'll submit a full 587B report. Carry on, Dorn. Yes, sir. Lieutenant, I assume Sergeant Dorn took the news well? Sergeant Dorn is honored to be in Havoc Squad. Excellent. We'll have the squad fully restaffed in no time. One other detail. Were you able to retrieve a sample of the weaponized rat ghoul disease that Needles was developing? Enjoy your horrifying biological weapon, General. Research purposes only, I assure you. Just leave it in the secured case beneath the hollow communicator. I'll see it reaches the right people. That's all for now, Lieutenant. Congratulations once again. Garza out. Inventory reports, sir. Food and medical supplies all look good, but our munitions are getting low. Thought we'd have enough to last us a year. Already requisitioned command for more. Guess I shouldn't be too surprised. See more action in one day with Havoc than you see in a month with the Dead Eyes. There's a lot of demand for a unit of our caliber. We mainly ran decapitation strikes. Neutralized enemy commanders before Republic Offensive. Left the opposition leaderless, disorganized. Sometimes, we'd camp outside the enemy's base for weeks, waiting for a clear shot. Eventually, we'd hit our target, pull out, let the ground pounders mop up. You must have chalked up quite a kill count. Over two dozen confirmed. Eventually, I was offered a promotion and a post on Ord Mantell. I took it. Smart move career-wise. More men, more responsibility. But I wasn't interested in fighting Separatists. What were you interested in? I signed on to fight Imperials. Anything else I did was career dressing. After my transfer, Command of the Dead Eyes fell to my XO, Torv. Smart kid. A little green, but the potential was there. If he learned from you, I'm sure he's a fine officer. Only so much a person could be taught about leadership. You've either got what it takes, or you don't. Come to think of it, I haven't been in contact with the Dead Eyes for a while. I should find out where they're stationed. Catch up. Excuse me, sir. May I have a moment of your time? I've always got time for you, Alara. <laughs> Thank you, sir. As a condition of my service in the Republic military, personnel division requires that I report regularly on my activities. However, my Havoc Squad missions are classified and cannot be shared with personnel division. I'd like to ask if you would vouch for me when I report in. I'll be happy to help. Thank you very much, sir. We should use the ship's secure line. Captain Kalor. This is Alara Dawn, personnel number 22795, reporting in per Regulation 449. Please, Alara, you don't have to give me the full rundown every time. I know who you are. How are things? Well enough, sir. Allow me to introduce you to the commander of Havoc Squad, my new CO. Sir, this is Captain Kalor, Army Personnel Division. Good to meet you, Captain. The pleasure's mine. Meeting you is a real honor. Tell me about being in the top squad in the Republic, Alara. You must be keeping very busy. I'm sorry, Captain, but you aren't authorized to know about Havoc Squad's activities. My CO will have to vouch for me from now on. What? Alara, I don't want to be a hard case, but rules are rules. This top secret junk won't fly. All Havoc Squad activities are highly classified, Captain. I'm sorry for any inconvenience. <laughs> inconvenience? Just 
Just carry on, Alara. We'll talk about this after I've had a word with my superiors. Kalor out. Hmm. I wasn't expecting him to react so strongly. Surely he didn't expect me to report on classified information. Protecting classified information is a top priority. Yes, sir. I'm surprised the captain didn't agree. If you'll excuse me, sir, I have several matters to attend to. Thank you for your time. Sir, you should know. General Vander contacted me. Said he'd talk it over with the brass and finagled a way to get me back on Ord Mantell. Offered me my old post. A promotion to command of their operations there. Pretty sweet deal overall. Did you accept? Of course not. Fact is, I've been hitting the Empire harder than ever since I joined Havoc Squad. I didn't enlist to win medals or promotions. I enlisted to protect the Republic. To prove my people have a place here. Glad you're finally warming up to your assignment. It's growing on me. We already lost one home to the Mandalorians. I'm not about to let the Empire take another. <laughs>